Hey, 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 what's going on? Happy Monday, everybody. It's Carmina Mez here, wishing you a very happy Monday. After all, why shouldn't Mondays be happy, right? We made it through uh, a week. We have the opportunity to, char- to start a brand new one. So yes, happy Monday. And I hope you had a great week- weekend. I had an excellent one. I had the opportunity to attend a uh, silent retreat, an Advent retreat over the weekend. And I will tell you more about that um, later. Um, But I've learned something quite interesting. It was a non-traditional Advent retreat. And one of the things, one of the many things I got from that retreat was um, the spiritual meaning of your legs it's kind of weird but it makes so so much sense and it kind of is framing my um my uh my suggestion for the mini challenge this week you know i'm proposing this week that you start your week with intention with a very clear intention of what your week is going to be about. I find that whenever I start anything with intention, I typically do much better than if I go into it without much thought. So try it for yourself. See if it works for you. If not, try something else. So what I'm proposing today um, for this week is that this week we walk with purpose, right? You guys know I'm a big proponent. I'm a big fan of walking as a physical activity. Um, But I think what I'm proposing today is slightly different, right? Is putting an intention behind every step that you make. And I think it's going to make a little more sense when I explain it. So what I learned this weekend is that spiritually or, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? Depending on different traditions, whether it's Chinese or otherwise, give a special significance to your right leg versus your left leg. So I don't remember which tradition it is in, but the right leg is meant to symbolize perseverance and your left leg symbolizes surrender. So now that's an interesting dynamic if you think about it, right? So whenever you take a step, you know, if it's the right step, then you're thinking perseverance. The left step is surrender. Now, what is it? What is that? Why does it matter? Well, it matters because I feel it's it's just a beautiful symbolism of life's journey in general, right? Life is a series of times where you have to persevere and times where you just have to surrender, trust the process, trust that you're doing the right thing and trust, trust in the wisdom, right? Of yourself or of those around you, of those who are leading you, the wisdom of your body. And that's why I like this analogy, right? So right leg, I'm walking in perseverance, left leg, I'm walking in surrender. Like I'm surrendering, but I'm persevering. I'm surrendering, but I'm persevering. It's like they go hand in hand, right? Um, And what I would love for you to do this week is really with purpose, look for opportunities where you can move your body. So if you had the choice between taking an elevator versus the stairs, whenever possible, of course, if you're going to the 20th stair, floor it probably doesn't make sense but maybe you can walk one or two floors I don't know it's up to you right it, your circumstances are unique your some your circumstances are different so do what feels right to you um, in that moment right so if you have the opportunity to park your car further right um, instead of the closest spot that you can find to the entrance door do that right if you can um, Remember to get off your chair, you, you know, once in a while at the office so that you're not spending a whole eight hours sitting down, do that. Or if your office, uh, I know some offices, corporate offices now um, have sitting desks, standing desks, 
sorry, where you can raise the, you know, the height of your desk so that you're, you're working, you're on your computer, but you're standing. Very good practice. So that's the mini challenge for this week is to look for opportunities to honor your body's need and desire to move for movement. Okay. So it's a fairly easy mini challenge. What it takes is mindfulness, right? Because it's so easy to forget. Um, and that's why um, one of the things that I talk about in my ebook, if you haven't gotten it, make sure you get it. It's called the Ditch the Diet um, Mindset ebook. Um, you can find it at bit.ly forward slash Ditch the Diet Mindset. I'm going to put it in the, sh- in, the, in the notes below, but it's free. Um, and one of the things I talk about is, is the sitting disease. Okay, it sounds like a far-fetched disease, but it's, an act- it's actually real. So go take a look at it, um, download the book, read it, and I'm sure you get so much nuggets from it. Okay, so remember, our mini challenge for this week is to, with purpose, look for opportunities to move our bodies, whether it's taking the stairs, whether it's parking further, whatever fits in your situation. And with that, I wish you a very happy Monday and hope to see you tomorrow here at 8, p- at 8 p.m. It's going to be a more structured um, talk like I usually do them. But this morning, I simply wanted to wish you a very happy Monday and hope um, help you start your week with intention. All right. So go walk with purpose and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.